Hi friends. Good morning, everyone. I hope all of you are doing good and safe. In this video, I'm going to explain what is the difference between SAP ECC warehouse management and uh, SAP S4 HANA stockroom management. We have a lot of confusion that uh, SAP ECC WM will not be available after 2025. The people who have knowledge on WM will be completely vanish. That kind of uh, questions I used to get and even that assumption is available in many of you. What is this S4 HANA stockroom management? Why SAP has introduced this S4 HANA stockroom management since S4 HANA 1909 although SAP's complete focus is on extended warehouse management. I analyzed few SAP notes and I read some articles from SAP and I prepared this video. I prepared this document and I'm making this video to give you the inputs and to clarify your open questions. I provided that SAP notes also. You can read more data I provided in this uh, video. You can go through later. I tried to take some key points which I wanted to convey in a simple way about the difference between SAP warehouse management and SAP stockroom management. So we all know about SAP warehouse management, which is part of ECC. 6.0 and SAP is not going to invest and uh, they have not invested in last few years also on SAP WM for any R&D, the complete focus on SAP extended warehouse management. But what is this SAP stockroom management? See SAP WM has been a component in ECC as per the current plan, it will be end into December 2025. What about the customers of SAP WM who are going to migrate to S4 HANA? They have one option. They have to migrate to SAP Extended Warehouse Management. Extended Warehouse Management is designed in a way for uh, basic warehouses to any complex warehouses also can be handled with SAP EWM. But what are the thousands of customers who are currently using SAP WM, but they are not keen to upgrade to EWM. They don't want to implement EWM because the current WM solution is enough to run their warehouses and they already made certain kind of customization. They're okay for that. So based on those concerns, it seems SAP has introduced SAP stockroom management specifically for SAP S4 HANA and it is available since S4 HANA 1909. So now you can understand that purpose. All new customers SAP is recommending to implement SAP EWM because their continuous R&D is happening and there will be Fury apps and any other new technologies or maybe uh, integration with AI or IoT, any kind of new things will be provided for EWM because EWM is the main component for warehouse operations or warehouse solutions on S4 HANA. So SAP is investing money on that to give better solutions to the customers. So all new customers, SAP is recommending to implement SAP extended warehouse management. But for what about these thousands of customers who are currently using ECC WM and they are not interested to migrate to EWM because they don't want such kind of solutions. They're okay with the warehouse management. For those customers, stockroom management will be available and which is available since 1909. SAP WM is being used to handle warehouses operations in ECC. Stockroom management is a specific op SAP Stockroom management is a specific offering for installed base customers to continue running their light warehouse management implementation in the context of SAP S4 HANA beyond 2025. So after 2025, any company who is using SAP WM, they want to migrate to S4 HANA, but they don't want to 
implement EWM for those customers, stock room management is available with minimum effort to migrate because both are on same data model. There is one more difference. WM has functionalities like uh, task and resource management and the warehouse control, unit interface, value added services, ad management, cross docking, wave management. There are some solutions in warehouse management in ECC. Those are not part of stocker management, but you can run inbound, outbound and the master data and internal warehouses. Uh, whatever we have, the basic warehouse functionalities are available as part of stock room management. So this is about the key differences between WM and stock room management. So whoever experts or knowledge in SAP WM, you are going to work on S4 HANA with the name of stock room management. The transactions, the processes are quite similar. According to my analysis, it is almost same. So you don't have to worry about your warehouse management knowledge. So in the future for WM consultants, there will be two types of modules can be available in the market. With respect to of, um, any other solutions, there will be two modules will be there. One is S4 HANA stockroom management. Another one is S4 HANA extended warehouse management. Extended warehouse management will have continuous updates from SAP. The latest technology is free apps or anything can be available and EWM can provide solutions from the basic warehouses to complex warehouses. Stockroom management is mainly designed for the basic warehouses. So here you can see the statement. It is an ideal offering for companies that are using LEWM today and do not need to manage more complex warehouse processes. See, for these customers, those thousands of customers to satisfy those thousands of customers, SAP has offered this stockroom management. You don't have to migrate to EWM if you don't want. You can use stockroom management, which is almost like WM. So your WM knowledge will not be wasted after 2025 also. But still, as part of warehouse consultants, we need to upgrade to EWM so that if there is an opportunity for stockroom management, yes, you can handle. If there is an opportunity for SAP EWM, yes, you can handle. So anyone can learn both WM and EWM to run your professional life in the warehouse design in the future. There are some common points just uh, highlighted here. You can see in the left to light. So both components are built on the same data model. Both covers many of the same processes, but is targeted solely at basic warehouse processes. So both are focusing on the basic warehouse processes. If you want to have any complex or any complex warehouses, definitely have to go for customization. SAP is not going to invest anymore on both the modules. That is the key point. You need to understand that SAP is not going to release any new enhanced versions or new solutions for these things. Whatever existing available, you need to work on that. If you get any kind of a new requirement, you have to work with a app and make it customized. In case of EWM, if there are solutions which needs frequently customization, SAP will consider those kind of uh, requirements and they'll release as a standard solution. You know, right, every time how in ECC we are releasing HP1, HP2, HP3, what things are coming? If there is a requirement from specific business and uh, maybe 20% or 30% or 10% of customers are always implementing ABAP solutions, then they will highlight to SAP. So SAP will consider for that R&D and they will release in the next version or coming versions as a standard solutions. Now we are releasing this SFP S4 HANA. We see 1909202020021. So each version SAP is releasing certain kind of solutions as part of standard, which will help the business to avoid customization, to avoid additional efforts to spend with technical team. That solution as part of SAP standard, so it can be done with configuration itself. I read few SAP notes. I collected very few points the key points which everyone needs to understand. You can also go through these 
refer SAP notes. You can see at the right hand side. Okay, you can uh, read these SAP notes for getting some more clarity. I hope you got an idea about the warehouse management and stockroom management. What are the differences? And what is the future of WM consultants? What will happen for your WM knowledge? So your WM knowledge will not be wasted for next 10 years or 15 years because stockroom management will take care about your WM knowledge. Whatever you gain, whatever you are doing today, that you are going to do on S4 HANA, almost 90% or 95% is same. But still, you need to upgrade to SAP EWM. So you will become WM EWM consultant or stockroom management and uh, EWM consultant in the future. I hope my analysis and my efforts I'm able to convey. I hope I feel that I conveyed whatever the message I wanted to convey to all of you. If you like the video, hit the like button and uh, keep sharing our videos with your SAP circle. Thank you.